Gas Station Log. It's Sunday, June 17th, 2018. Got to have two cups of tea this morning, which is nice. Coming to work. Okay, let's go rock the gas station. Gas Station Log. Hey, buddies. What's up? So, yeah. Um, wow, it's hot outside today. Ew. I've got the AC cranked up to 64 and it's running constantly and it still it keeps it just cool enough that I don't go crazy. Gas station log. Hey everybody, it's 4.56. It's almost half o'clock. I got these awesome books. That Tina brought for me from Andy Pointer and Nathan DeLeon, I think, is teaching a class. Um Exploring the Bible in 1 Samuel, and I've got one for Second Samuel, so yay, buddy, that's pretty sweet. Just so you know, First and Second Samuel is literally like my two favorite books of the Bible. Um, uh, first time I read through them, I was at that ranch in California, and um, it was just stories that struck me at that particular point in my life, um, and I just identified with them. It's like, wow, this is really interesting. Not only are they interesting stories, but I identified with the characters that were in it. Um, they were real to me. David, Abner, Jonathan, Samuel. I mean, it's just cool people. So, so basically, like, if, if I were to open a study on these two books, it would sound something like this. The book opens with, there's this woman, Hannah, who has not had a baby in a culture that sees having children as a blessing from God. So she's like, did I do something wrong? Um, oh Lord, why can't I have this baby? Her womb was barren, so to speak. And it distressed her a great deal. She's like, oh, I can't have a baby. And she cried out to God, God, will you please give me a baby? Um, I want a baby. And if if you were to be so kind as to give me a baby, I will dedicate him to you. Given that it's Father's Day and I'm a father to a son named Samuel. That's no coincidence that God wanted to name my offspring after my favorite characters in the Bible. You know, I had a son. It would have been my sole responsibility to raise this child. That's not happening. It's just not happening. So I prayed and prayed, God, I want him to be raised in a Christian home. I want him to be raised by people that will teach him to walk with you and to know you. Not just raise you up in church. But the trick to get it to, to raising your kids to be people who walk with Jesus is to not drag them to church. It's to not, you know, I mean, sure, drag them to church, you know, if you want them to go to church. But you should cultivate within them a heart that wants to seek after Jesus. And the best way you can do that is by example. So I wanted to my my son to grow up in a home where he was where a relationship with Jesus was cultivated within him so he would grow up wanting to seek after Jesus. Um and I prayed and prayed and prayed for this, just like Hannah did. Hannah prayed, please give me a son, and I will dedicate him to you. So what happened was, is this son was born, there's no way that I could take care of him. So in essence, I'm also like Hannah in that I can't keep the kid. So in essence, I had to give him up unto the Lord, just like Hannah did. I basically had to say, I can't take care of this kid, Jesus. I'm going to have to turn him over to you and let you take care of him. And, well, God did. He, he actually really showed up. And he showed up for this child. Handpicked the people that he wanted to raise Sam. And it all just kind of went through. And so I kind of had to give my son up to the Lord in a very real and practical sense. So we'll start with that. Maybe I'll make this an ongoing thing studying through the books of Samuel. All right.
first and second Samuel were books that I just really identified with. Um, not to mention the really interesting stories, you know, stories of battle and conquest and campaign and fighting off your enemies and running for your life and there's a crazy madman trying to kill me and for some reason God anointed him king and, you know, just, just really neat stuff. It's, it's, a, it's a story of everything. It's a story of battle, conquest, friendships brotherhood. It's just good stuff. I can't wait to get into this with you guys. Alright, peace out.